crime drama directed by Scott Cooper, who also directed um, Crazy Heart and Out of the Furnace. Both excellent movies. So you one, know, one with my favorite actor of all time in it. Who? Jeff, oh, Jeff uh, oh, uh, a CGI. Uh, Jeff Bridges, right? So this is that movie that, that you've probably seen the trailer for where you're like, oh, that's Johnny Depp. I hate Johnny Depp. You stopped seeing him as yeah, the character. I, I, no, I, I it just... It didn't even seem like it was Johnny Depp to me. And this is a pretty... pretty uh, banging list of people in this movie. Benedict Cumbersnatch. <laughs> uh, the girl gets topless in uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dakota Johnson. Oh, not Dakota Fanning? You want to go not to jail? <laughs> Joel... Edgerton. Adam Scott plays Adam Scott. Yeah. Good old Ben Wyatt. <laughs> Good old Ben Wyatt. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Probably the only person that matters. Kevin right Bacon. <laughs> oh, Meth Damon from Breaking Bad is in it. I noticed that he had a really bad hair, like 70s hair. I was like, that's Meth Damon. <laughs> that was that looked like a wig, man. That was definitely a that wig. Was a wig. They, it's because they spent so much on, on Johnny Depp's, on Johnny Depp's Johnny hair. Depp's hair che- that, like cheekbones and stuff. <laughs> cheekbones and, and his hair and his teeth that everyone else got shit wigs. <laughs> Like, we don't have enough money in the budget, so... Uh, Sorry. <laughs> like, shaved one of the guy's balls and just <laughs> just glued it to his head. <laughs> Matt Damon's like, all right. So, you know what you're going to get for this movie? A slow-burning drama. A very slow-burning drama. <laughs> After seeing Everest and watching Black Mass, I am mentally and physically exhausted at 1 in the morning when I'm filming this review. I fell asleep on the car. <laughs> just knocked out. I feel like we're, like, a husband and wife right now. Oh, uh, he fell asleep on the way home in the car. He's such a little Thanks, sweetie. bitch. Oh. The cat's taking a, a doo doo right the now. The cat? No, it's a pee pee. It's the cat's taking a pee pee. Hang on. That's a shit. So the movie's about Johnny Depp's character, Buddy Bulger, very infamous gangster in Boston. Him getting involved with FBI. He does a very good job of containing this just corrosive, like, version of this gangster character that he's playing. Yeah. He was probably at an 80% with that character. He could have taken it to 100. There are parts of the movie where someone would say something to Johnny Depp, and you're like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you wanna, Why would you hands, do like... that? Someone would say, Johnny Depp, your shoes untied. And you just shoot him right there. <laughs> and then he goes, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was a couple times where scenes look like they're about to pay off. And it does that, it does it a lot in the movie. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, it looks like it's, something's going to happen, or it looks like Johnny Depp's going to It looks Depp's like shit's about to go down, shit. but... And then it doesn't. And I thought there was going to be a great payoff, not great payoff, I should per se, but I thought there was going to be a lot of shit going down at the end of the movie, but it was actually very melodramatic. <laughs> you thought it was melodramatic? Oh, yeah. Uh, the movie did end kind of anticlimactic. There was a lot of one-note characters where they were being obvious, uh, just just being gangsters, and they had to do this the stern face and that voice. And that was also kind of Johnny Depp's character, in a way. Mm-hmm. This movie's a very hard R. Oh, yeah. No sex scenes at all? No sex scenes, no... Nudity, right? No, no boobs. No boobs. No, I thought at least maybe we won. We didn't, gangsters. See, we didn't get to see Joel Egerton's dick. Or, or Kevin's bacon bacon. No. I'm still... We didn't see Kevin's, Kevin Bacon's bacon. I'm still kind of... Or Dakota Fa- Dakota Fanning's yeah. boobs. We, she's naked the you entire... You guys got to watch Fifty Shades of Grey. I did, don't. Oh, no, nope. Don't do don't it. Don't do it. Don't do I it. I regret it. So I'm going to give this movie a 79%. I'm going to give it a 76%. 76? Pretty roundabout in the same area for both movies. So that means that both movies are 78%. Whoa. Yeah. So, so Black Mask gets a 78%. <laughs> we, all we did was switch scores. You That's know all that, we right? did. You did 76? We don't tell each other scores we don't tell it. We don't tell each other scores beforehand. So that's it for our Black Mask review. So we did Black Mask and Everest. And if you haven't checked out Everest, go check that out now. It's both of them should be up now. And then Green Inferno comes out next week. Green Inferno. By Eli, Eli Roth. Roth's hit or miss movie. <laughs> we never know how to end these videos. We don't. We'll, we'll figure out some tagline or some something smart to say. So until then, uh, <laughs> <it's> cut logo. <laughs>